What's up guys, Tommy with Studio Sense here. Thanks for stopping by to check out today's video. Today we're talking about twos, duos. So I've got 10 different houses, 20 different fragrances, pretty decent mix of niche and designer, though mostly designer as a rule, keeping the costs down because I know that's important to you guys, it's important to me. So when we come back, we're gonna take a look at best blue duos. Got that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Yeah. Welcome back guys. So today we're talking about outstanding blue duos, two fragrances from the same house that fit that blue genre. Just kind of want to give you the highlights of what's best about them, give you the house, the two fragrances, and then we'll move on to the next one. So that's what we're going to do. So let's pop the cap off and get to spraying. The first house that I do want to mention is one that has kind of been on my radar lately. Awesome fragrances inbound. They've got a lot of cool things coming up. I think at the end of this month, March, they're uh, going to be releasing three brand new fragrances, so that's kind of cool. I'll bring you more information as that comes available to me, but it is the house of Michael Malul, the niche house of Michael Malul. Although they are a niche house, they do make very accessible designer level fragrances, fragrances that aren't kind of weird or challenging or anything. And so that's kind of what I like about them. So the house is Michael Malul. Let's take a look at our outstanding blue duo. The very first Michael Malul fragrance that I want to talk about is Ocean Noir. Now, when I first wore Ocean Noir, it kind of put me in mind of Blue de Chanel a little bit, just because it's got that dark oceanic heart to it. In fact, what I really like about most of these duos is they're going to show like opposite sides of, of blue, the lighter side of blue, and then you've got the darker side of blue. So Ocean Noir, just like the name implies, it opens with coconut, marine notes, Manola Tangelo. So it's got some nice fruits, but tropical side of fruit. It's got a heart of geranium, sea kelp, and yarrow. And then in the base, amberwood, musk, and patchouli. Overall, a great fragrance, very wearable. Again, if you like Blue de Chanel, you're probably really going to like this one. And the duo to Ocean Noir is one that is the lighter side of blue, kind of the airy or ozonic side of blue, and that is Visionaire Midnight Blue. It has a really unique opening of bergamot, lavender, a little bit of watermelon, so going from tropical to more of like a sunny side of fruit in terms of fruit. The heart is a lotus and jasmine, and then of course that amber wood base, similar to a little bit of ambergris, patchouli, some musks. Similar to Ocean Noir, it's got that nice blue background, but it's again a lighter side, more ozonic side of blue with a bit of fruit. Both of them are excellent. Check them out from the Michael Malul website. Again, just like all of these fragrances, these two will also be listed below that you can click on the link to check them out or purchase them if you want to. Again, Michael Malola is the house. The outstanding blue duo is Ocean Noir and Visionaire Midnight Blue. Moving on to our next outstanding blue duo is the house of Paco Rabanne. There are quite a few to pick and choose from Paco Rabanne, but I could not pass up an opportunity to highlight one of my favorite Paco Rabanne fragrances that is in the blue genre. It is Invictus Aqua. Now I'm not going to be a fanboy and say it has to be the 2016 version of Invictus Aqua because I don't own it. I've worn it. I love it. I agree. It's a little bit better out of the two, the 2016 and the 2018 version. This is the 2018 version and it smells amazing. A great mix of that Invictus sweet, lightly bubblegum DNA with grapefruit, violet leaf, Brazilian rosewood, ambergris, and broxen, and marine notes make up the basic formula, but overall fantastic version of the Invictus DNA, Invictus Aqua. Now the duo de Paco Rabanne's Invictus Aqua is actually going to be pure excess. I'm going to put this down. Now the only thing I don't like about pure excess is it tries to be all Zippo-like with the lid. Uh, I would rather, much rather it be like Pure Excess Night. By the way, Pure Excess Night would actually be my pick if it weren't so hard to find and so expensive right now. You know, if you can find Pure Excess Night for a great price, you can use it in lieu of Pure Excess. But for now, Pure Excess. Now, Pure Excess got some bad press when it first came out. I think a lot of people have downvoted it on certain websites because of that, but that's absolutely ridiculous because it is a very unique designer fragrance, super similar to Pure Excess Night, just going away from Gourmand. If you like Pure Excess Night, you'll enjoy Pure Excess. So again, the house is Paco Rabanne and the outstanding blue duo is Invictus Aqua 2016 or 2018 version, doesn't matter, and Pure Excess. The next outstanding blue duo comes from the house of Versace, but I could not overlook the 
wonderful Versace Man O'Frache. Versace Man O'Frache is one of those timeless classic, I uh, will be classic fragrances as time goes on, that has plenty of apex to pull in not only the younger audience, but the older audience as well. It appeals to every man. It is extremely versatile. It's got a, a nice spicy kick to it for a blue fragrance. You can wear it at any time for any reason, but it is kind of the lighter, spicier side of the blue genre. The outstanding blue duo to Versace Mano Fresh is Versace Porom Dylan Blue, or as it's better known, just simply Versace Dylan Blue. Now, Dylan Blue is one of those fragrances that started gaining in popularity. It was all the buzz. Now people are not really talking about it that much. Versace Dylan Blue has a lot of similar qualities to Blue de Chanel. It has that darker heart of the ocean with the frankincense going on there, but it also has kind of that lighter driftwood, aqua de jo appeal to it. It even has some unusual notes like fig leaf, saffron, and violet leaf. Because it can be worn in such a multiplicity of variety of ways, Versace Dylan Blue is one of those versatile blue fragrances that make it a fantastic pick no matter when you choose to wear it. Just to remind you, if you're one of those that come to YouTube and click in the middle of a video, we're talking about outstanding blue duos from 10 different houses, 20 fragrances in total. The house that we just talked about is Versace and Versace Dylan Blue and Versace Mano Fresh is the outstanding duo. The next house that I want to feature is Prada because they're such a well-known brand and well-known name and they do make some outstanding blue fragrances and this duo is chef's kiss. The first one that I want to feature is from the Luna Rosa line and it's not that old. It's Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. Now Ocean is one of those that admittedly may take a little bit of time for it to work up or your, your like of it. When I first started using it, I didn't think it was that great. Then when I realized that it is an aquatic fragrance that has some really nice leather nuances, light leather suede nuances that women find very appealing. Then I started to wear it more and I started to appreciate facets of it uh, more. And so that's why it's a great blue fragrance overall. It can be worn on any occasion and it does have a little bit of an um, upscale feel to it. So if you are looking for a blue fragrance that has a little bit higher than just casual everyday wear appeal to it, Prada Luna Rosa Ocean is, is definitely one to check out. The outstanding partner to Luna Rosa Ocean is a little bit softer, a little bit more gentle, but definitely still has outstanding performance and that is Prada Lome Low. Prada Lome Low is unfortunately in a line that's been, that is being kind of phased out, uh, discontinued, but you can still pick up Lome Low pretty much on the cheap. It is an epic fragrance. It's part of my Laundry Fresh collection that I've talked about before that I'll link above me here. And actually the winner of that contest is going to be announced in this video. So be on the lookout for that shortly after we talk about these fragrances. But Prada Lome Low is a great linen fresh a little bit more on the brighter side than the typical Prada Loam, a little bit less iris, a little bit more aquatic. Again, the house is Prada and the outstanding duo is Prada Luna Rosa Ocean and Prada Loam Low. The next house that I want to feature with an outstanding blue duo is that of Jean-Paul Gaultier. Jean-Paul Gaultier has a ton of fragrances that you could consider blue, but these in particular, I feel like stand out and it's really kind of a good example of the darker and the lighter side of blue. The darker side, a little bit richer, a little bit sweeter, but an epic fragrance nonetheless, is Ultramall. Ultramall. I don't know why I said that like that. <clears throat> My voice changed. Ultramall. Uh, but yeah, Ultramall, it takes that Lamal DNA and just pumps it up to maximum. That wonderful lavender, clary sage, mint combination. Uh, I think there's even a little bit of cinnamon. Everything you like about Lamal made better in Ultramall. And again, the darker side of, of blue, fantastic clubbing fragrance has proven itself. Now the lighter side of the Lamal DNA I've chosen instead of going to a different line as an example, um, is actually Lamal on board. Relatively decently new, newer flanker in the last year or so. Uh, Lamal on board is just a really nice, fresh, clean version of the Lamal DNA in the, on the lighter side of the blue spectrum. An epic mix of bergamot, geranium, and tonka bean are what make Lamal on board a classic man's choice for a fragrance for daily wear. Again, a great casual daily wear fragrance that is a perfect example of how you can take a DNA that's been around for a long time, freshen it up, 
in the blue, again, a lighter side of the blue spectrum. Again, the house is Jean-Paul Gaultier. The outstanding blue duo is Ultramall and Lamal on board. Next up, we are knocking on the door of the house of Ralph Lauren. Now, Ralph Lauren's been around for a long time. They've got a ton of men's fragrance in their catalog. So it's, you know, you can pretty much close your eyes and point and it would probably be a good choice. But these particular fragrances are related one to the other in terms of the line. The first one is a favorite of mine. It proves that you can breathe new life into a line that's been around for a while. It is Polo Deep Blue Parfum. Polo Deep Blue Parfum is a fantastic blue fragrance that proves that you don't have to be all about the serious even when you are serious as a casual fragrance. There's something called Crystal Fizz in this that makes this almost like the champagne of blue fragrances. You've got fruity Hawaiian green mango, grapefruit, and that Crystal Fizz in the open. So as soon as you pop the lid off and spray it on, you automatically get the playfulness of this wonderful fragrance. And the vibe, all work and no play, makes Jack a dull boy but you add a little bit of professionalism in there too. Jack can do some business while he's on vacation even. And so this one is super versatile. Deep blue is, um, it is representative of the darker side of blue, you know, the deep blue sea. It's kind of an oceanic marine aquatic fragrance, again, with a bit of playfulness added to it. Now the outstanding duo to that is Polo Blue Parfum. Sounds kind of confusing. But this one is relatively recent. It is a flanker to the newer Polo Blue line as opposed to the OG Blue line. This one goes back to formula and kind of reinvents itself in an, kind of an upscale way. This one is all about clary sage, lavender, frankincense, and jasmine. It's a great blue fragrance with nuances of Blue de Chanel and some other popular blue fragrances built in but it's a cleaner, fresher, kind of more upscale version. The house again is Ralph Lauren and the fragrances, the outstanding blue duo is Deep Blue Parfum and Polo Blue Parfum. Moving down the line in the neighborhood, the next house I wanna highlight, knock on the door of is Dolce & Gabbana. And again, there are a lot of fragrances that we could choose. I chose the light blue line and the best flanker in the light blue line is light blue forever. Light blue forever will forever be to me, one of the best grapefruit, fruity, summertime fragrances for men that is just epic. Uh, not only does it perform extremely well coming from a fragrant note that is historically not very long lasting, the note of, of grapefruit or really any fruit. Not only does it carry that grapefruit vibe and sensibility throughout the life of the fragrance, it gives you something a little bit extra in the end, in the dry down. The dry down is uniquely genderless, but it is dependent upon what you're doing, whether it's masculine or feminine. It smells amazing, performs great. It's environmentally or activity interpretive. That's why it's an outstanding blue fragrance and the duo to forever, K Eau de Parfum. Dolce & Gabbana K EDP is a great fruity blood orange kind of linen fresh fragrance and that's pretty much how I'll put it. If you've tried the new fragrance coach Open Road, you're pretty much getting this. And this is a little bit better in my estimation. Coach Open Road is great, but I really like, and again, K did it first and I think K EDP does it just a bit better. So to recap, the house is Dolce & Gabbana and the outstanding blue duo is K EDP and Light Blue Forever. Next up is the house of Carolina Herrera. There are so many fragrances to choose from. Again, great catalog, but one I absolutely must highlight or feature is Bad Boy Cobalt. I mean, where else can you find black plum, black truffle, lavender, jasmine, Egyptian geranium. I mean, there are a ton of notes. This is one of the more unique Carolina Herrera fragrances in the blue genre to come out in the past several years. Not only a really cool lightning bolt, uh, but just overall formula. Now, the partner fragrance that's outstanding alongside Bad Boy Cobalt is a CH Men fragrance, and that is CH Men Under the Sea. This to me is one of the more unique aquatic fragrances because it's got that note of cashmere alongside vanilla. And that makes it a unique kind of, uh, not only is it an aquatic fragrance, but it has the constituents of, a, you know, that oxytocin sweater, comfy, cozy note that's in a lot of fall fragrances. Cashmere is in an aquatic fragrance. Again, combined with vanilla and you've got also unique properties like angelica root uh, jasmine it's just a very versatile aquatic fragrance and that's why it's in this list so again the house is carolina herrera the outstanding duo is bad boy cobalt and ch men under the sea 
The next house that I want to feature with an outstanding blue duo is Mansara. Now Mansara has an incredible catalog. Again, if you close your eyes pointed, you probably pick out great fragrance or fragrances. But this one in particular, I feel like is a, a great blue fragrance because it has the note, the darker, richer note of oud in a blue fragrance. And that is oud blue notes. What makes it unique is not only does it have a fruit punch opening, I don't mean fruit punch, like a really bright fruity opening, but you also have kind of a floral heart. There's um, ylang ylang, there's jasmine, there's iris. Then in the base is where you get your amber wood, your woods, and a little bit of leather. And of course, oud. And oud is that super heavy, powerful note that makes this blue fragrance very unique. Typical to Mansara, the performance is great. The partner fragrance to Oud Blue Notes is another Mansara great, and that is So Blue. Just like the name implies, pretty much what you're getting. Now, Oud Blue Notes is kind of like the darker side of blue, and then on the flip side, So Blue is a lighter, kind of a lighter side. And while it is on the lighter side, as opposed to Oud Blue Notes, it doesn't impact the performance. They create amazing fragrances with great, unique properties, and this is one of them. So, the house is Mansara, the outstanding blue duo is Oud Blue Notes, and So Blue. All right, we are down to the last outstanding duo. Giorgio Armani is the house. Giorgio Armani, similar to all of these, has an amazing catalog to choose from. Why am I choosing the ones that I'm choosing? Because I feel like they have the most to offer in terms of mass appeal. This particular one, it is part of the line that has the number one selling men's fragrance of all time, and that is Aqua de Jo Profundo. Profundo is, to me, representative of what's so great about Aqua de Jo, uh, the line from Profumo, Profundo, Special Blend, whatever version is your favorite. I really like this one because the blue that comes out of that original streak of sunshine and driftwood kind of formula is amazing. And it's just such an epic wear and epic versatility. You can wear Profundo on any occasion for any reason. The outstanding duo to Aqua de Jo Profundo, and this is where I'm fudging just a little bit, um, is actually Armani Code Parfum, the new release, uh, the new version of Armani Code. Now, why do I feel like this is a blue fragrance? It's more green than blue, really, because you've got this um, molecular distillation process where they capture the bergamot molecule in this and extend it. So the performance is epic in this fragrance. I love the performance, just how fresh it is, that kind of minty fresh coming from that distillation process of the bergamot note. And I, bergamot, and of course, iris. And I love that about this fragrance, and that's why I feel like it's a outstanding blue. To recap, the house is Giorgio Armani. The outstanding blue duo is Aqua de Jo Profundo and Armani Code Parfum. Well, that's it guys, 20 fragrances and 10 houses in a single video, I've never done that before. Thanks so much for coming along for the ride. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that if you have any of these fragrances, if you own any of them, that you're enjoying wearing them, and if I've put you in mind of other fragrances that I didn't mention in this list that are outstanding, that are blue, and there's two of them, let us know what those are in the comments below so that everyone can kind of in tandem broaden our horizons and add more to the list, because that's what we want to do. Okay, now the time has come for me to announce the contest winner. Remember the fresh linen video that I did a few days ago, talking about linen fresh fragrances, and I introduced you to a fragrance by Particle called Gravity. For those of you that entered, thanks so much for taking the time to comment, to like, and to sub to Studio Sense. Unfortunately, I can only have one winner, and the winner is Andrew Thompson. Congratulations on winning a full bottle of Gravity. If you guys are interested in me doing another giveaway, another full bottle of Gravity, let me know. Uh, Particle has been in touch with me, and they said that if you guys are interested, I can do another full bottle giveaway and do a quick review of the fragrance. So if you're interested in me doing that, just say, yes, do it. I want a, another bottle, <laughs> or I want Gravity and uh, I'll go ahead and, and consider that, depending upon how many of you show interest in that. But again, Andrew Thompson, you are the winner, so send me your details at studiosense at gmail.com. That is your address information or where you would like this bottle of gravity shipped. Again, send it to studiosense at gmail.com. 
best way to get a hold of me and best way to send your information and I will ship it immediately. For those of you that entered and did not win, don't give up. Again, I'm all the time doing contests. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. It's been a little bit of a longer one. Thanks so much for your patience. As always, thank you so much for your continued support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah,